Detroit President General Manager Dave Dombrowski, as we speak on the 18th of January 2011, the big story of course being the situation involving Victor Martinez, the 24-hour shock is over. Uh, where does this club stand now with Victor? Have you learned a little bit more what the situation is? No, we haven't any learned anything more in regards to Victor's situation because he won't see the doctor until next week when I left this morning. I did not have the time in which he will be seeing him, but it was being set up for the beginning of next week in Colorado. We'll find out more at that time, but uh, we have a pretty good feel of what's taking place. But we'll find out when the surgery is scheduled, the exact time that they, they feel at that point. But we have a pretty good pulse of what's, what's going to happen. Is this type of situation almost a, a, a case where uh, as a baseball executive, you always have to be ready for the unexpected at a moment's notice. Is this type of situation like that? Well, I mean, I, I don't know that you're in a spot where you're ever anticipating that you're going to have this type of injury at this time of year, but anything can happen anytime you know that. That's why depth of your organization is very important. That's why you have flexibility, you have good scouting reports, you're very thorough in what you do, so you can react in a proper fashion, and that's what uh, you attempt to do. You know when you lose certain players, you can't per se replace that individual player. But yet, as a club, people step up, they do their job, and then you're in a position where um, you make up for the, the loss of the player and his abilities by other people contributed. And then we still have the ability before opening day to, to make a move that can help our lineup. Patience is almost the important thing right now because we are talking in mid-January. We're not talking like mid-March when opening day may be three weeks away and something's got to be done. Well, that's right. I think you have to make sure you're very thorough in your research and you have a feel. We have a pulse of what's going on. We know the players that are out there. and. We need to be in a position where we put all the pieces together and kind of decide what's best for our, our ball club going into the next uh, the next time frame, really. All right. As we speak in mid-January, no matter what would have happened to Victor Martinez before then, this was a club the 40-man roster that still was a little bit in flux that you were willing to do a little tweaking before uh, the pitchers and catchers report to Lakeland in, in five weeks? Well, I, I think we, we would be happy with our club as it stands now to go into spring training. We had taken that approach. We've always been open-minded to adding if we could, but when you have a club that has won 95 games, every club has some weaknesses, but you're in a position where you're not just going to make drastic moves. So we're open-minded getting better. We have taken that approach and uh, we haven't made a lot of moves this winter, but by bringing Ramon Santiago back, bringing Gerald Laird as our backup catcher, adding Octavio Dotel to the bullpen, we've made some little tweaks to our club that we think can help us. You have minor league organization. The leadership has had to, uh, a little bit of change, uh, first with the overall leader, and then the pitching change with Al Nipper coming on board. Is it more of a case of maybe the people that were there took it as far as they could and maybe it's time for a different direction or what? Well, we had good people in the organization for a long time. I think the director of player to development situation uh, was really more in a transition because Mike Rojas went to the major league level. We were very happy with the job that Mike did and Mike was in a position he would have been in that position for a long time. But for us uh, stepping up to the big league coach and staff and being able to help us there was a very important part for the organization. A great opportunity for Mike to get a chance to be at the big league level. From the pitching perspective uh, John Matlack had done a lot of good things for us throughout the years but we just thought at the time that we were in a position to make a, a change and uh, we found somebody in Al Nipper that we know will do a very good job for us, has a great reputation. David Chad had worked with them in the past and we feel that it will be very helpful to us. Two other questions, Dave Dombrowski. First, about the minor organization. Uh, stability. Uh, granted, there's leadership change, but stability of the fact that, yes, Connecticut has been a change, but for the most part, the following transitions, there's West Michigan, Lakeland, of course, the Tigers' own, Erie, Toledo. They've been there for a number of years. That's got to really help in terms of laying a foundation for developing players, because if you have the foundation stable, the players should be stable. Well, I think it's very important. I think it speaks to the people that run our minor league system, our scouting department, the personnel that we have. We have great relationships with our affiliates. We have a great relationship here in West Michigan with Lou Chamberlain and Denny and the rest of the group that run the, the organization, as we do at our other affiliates. So you hope to have that type of stability in your organization. We have a lot of consistency in the managers and the coaches within our organization, as with our scouting staff. So I've been here for us at the beginning of my 11th season, and we're in a position where a lot of people have been here the whole 11 years, and so I think that's good for an organization. As long as you have good people and you can continue to build on your philosophies and they're open-minded to that, which they are, you're in a position where it puts you in a position to have a very 
good and stable organization. One final thing, and I, I, I think I can guess the answer, Dave Dombrowski, but I'm, I'm going to ask the question anyway. I found it a little bit humorous uh, last month before Bud Selig uh, was, uh, had an extension of his contract that there was some scuttlebutt about who would replace Bud Selig as commissioner. And I found it amusing that Dave Dombrowski's name started being tossed about. I know you're pleased with what you're doing here at Detroit, but uh, to be thought of as maybe somebody that could lead all of Major League Baseball is a little humbling, isn't it? Well, yeah, I appreciate that. It is very much so, and it's a nice compliment. But as I said at the point that I have a job that I'm very happy with. The commissioner's done a great job. You can see he just got his contract extended by a couple of years. And so uh, I'm in a very good situation, very thankful for that.